More than a million and a half people in California have signed a recall petition to bounce their governor, Gavin Newsom, out of office for incompetence. One police sergeant in California who served nearly 20 years has had enough of him, too. And he spoke out in public at great risk to his own career. Watch. Under Governor Newsom, men like this are often released from prison because he classifies them as nonviolent offenders. What is even more disturbing, over the past year, Governor Newsom has been quietly releasing thousands of inmates from prisons throughout the state. He is doing so without any threat assessment and with complete disregard for the safety of Californians. The term nonviolent offender is a phrase people like Gavin Newsom and new L.A. District Attorney George Gascon like to use often. They want you to believe these individuals do not pose a risk to the safety of the public. The brave man in that video is Sergeant Adam Garcia, and he joins us tonight. Sergeant Garcia, thanks for coming on. Obviously, you said that in public and come on the show at some risk to your own job. Why did you feel moved to say that? Um, well, first, Tucker, thank you for having me. Um, you know, I just... Uh, you know, when you're out when you're out there in, with dealing with the public, when you're in working these communities that have been hit really hard with poverty and gang crime and things like that, um, they're often forgot. You know, and for me, I just felt that it was very important for me to go ahead and speak up for for the people who are voiceless right now. You know, a lot of these policies have been passed by people who have political uh, aspirations higher than their current their current uh, office, and um, these people are being overlooked. And I thought it was just time for me to finally speak up for for these people and and be a voice uh, a voice for the voiceless. Amen. So it's poor people who are hit hardest, who are killed by these policies. No one ever says that. You see it in your job, and that's what moved you? Absolutely. I mean, um, it, it's just, uh, it, it, I mean, we're, we're seeing crime scenes right now that are out there with the amount, of, the amount of shootings, the amount of gang violence that's starting to resurface. We were able to use in the past, a lot of agencies are able to use things like gang enhancement, gang injunctions to really, really put a dent in a lot of gang crime. Well, those things are being pulled from us now. And what we're starting to see now is in a lot of these uh, these poor areas, gangs are starting to reestablish themselves in these communities and are starting to, you know, extort businesses and things like that. And it's because these policies that we used in the past, excuse me, these laws that we had to our uh, to uh, that we were able to take advantage of in the past have basically been pulled from us now. So, again, it's mostly in poor minority communities. Um, you don't see it in Anaheim yep. uh, or, you know, in Anaheim Hills or anything like that. You see it in, in the poorest areas. Of course you do. Lieutenant Garcia, you are brave to say that out loud, and I, and I hope that you escape with your job. Thank you for coming on tonight. Tucker, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.